something big is going on right now. We have a state of emergency for over 50 million people going on right now and 12 different states are under watch from this and this is big news because this is a replay of what we've seen before we saw almost this exact situation happen a few months ago and we are still dealing with the consequences and dealing with the effects of that there are still tens of thousands of people directly being affected from the situation that happened a few months ago and now we have another one that just happened in one of the most beautiful places of the country all right we had a major disaster a toxic disaster that's what they're calling it we are having sulfuric acid essentially dump into one of the largest rivers in the united states that connects to the missouri river and the mississippi river so this is huge what's going on and they're warning do not drink the water they're saying do not drink the water right now and there's also a major phone outage they are blaming on this as well which really doesn't make sense i will show you some pictures of what's going on here in a little bit but it doesn't make sense that a phone outage would happen from this they're saying a, a cable was cut from this and now there's a massive verizon outage as well they're blaming on the same event and i really do not understand and i can't connect the dots on how there would be a statewide phone outage from this event too so big things are going on we've seen a lot of activity in this area as well i reported on there were military tanks and self-propelled howitzers on the streets in this same region just last week all right so there's been a lot of situations going on in this region and this is why i keep telling you guys you need to fill up your tanks you need to have your gas tanks filled up your car gas tanks your spare gas tanks you need to have your water tanks filled up you need to have spare water tanks all these different things you need to have filled up because there could be a situation like this in your area and right now over 50 million people there warning do not drink the water because your water could potentially be coming from this poisoned source right now all right and if you had your water tanks filled up you'd be fine you'd be good to go and you'd be able to last for at least a week on the water that you have all right so get stocked up on water bottles right now get stocked up on water filters water filtration like big berkey filters things like that all right and also get stocked up on life straw survival straw sawyer mini filter straws all right i have multiples of these for bug out situations and events like this but even even those they are not going to filter out the contaminants all right a lot of the life straw things like that they're not going to filter out these toxic chemicals that are poisoning one of the largest rivers in the u.s and affecting over 50 million people right now all right so this it's just one of these things you can't escape the life straws normally only filter microbes all right so it's one of these things you have to have water already and be prepared already and this could this could affect the water table this could affect people's wells in this area and it's going to flow throughout the whole country contaminating the whole water system and killing fish getting rid of animals and a lot of people's livestock depend on this i will show a chart showing the top agricultural beef states and they're all right along these rivers they're all right along it and their main water source has been poisoned so something big is going on and this is not just another coincidence these things don't just happen right these things don't just happen and this collapse is very suspicious as well the way it did collapse and the way they're blaming a phone outage on it doesn't make sense too so we're going to cover all this stuff you guys need to get water bottles right now get stocked up right now because this is going to affect 50 million people i'll go over all the states we are talking about we are talking about to start off with montana all right south dakota north dakota nebraska kansas missouri illinois tennessee arkansas louisiana mississippi all right all these different states are being affected right now because their waterway systems were just poisoned by a massive train derailment that happened on the yellowstone river 
right outside of Yellowstone National Park. And I'm not too far from that, honestly. And there's been a lot of activity going on out here. Like I said, we saw tanks in the streets and self-propelled howitzers in the streets in Idaho Falls, which is right outside of Yellowstone there too. All right, so lots of big things are going on and you need to get prepared. You need to get stocked up and you need to get water if you are in the path. If you're in any of these states, you need to get water right now because they are warning people do not drink this water and your water sources could be contaminated so let's dive into the details here and then we will go over this verizon phone outage and there's also another state that has a major phone outage as well but they're saying that this phone outage is tied to this derailment i don't really understand i'll show you some pictures in just a second as well and you can tell me and decide what you think's going on it says cleanup continues after train carrying quote potential contaminants and it was c carrying essentially sulfuric acid the chemical was sodium bisulfate and this train was going over a bridge right over the yellowstone river and it collapsed right in the center of it right like this i'll show some pictures here so it collapsed like this in the middle and there's two supporting beams near the land on each side and the collapse is in the middle so i'm not sure exactly how that would sever a fiber optic cable maybe the cable was underneath it i have i have no idea but normally fiber optic cables are underground buried underground and it would be running along the shore most likely all right so i'm not sure there's probably some kind of scenario where it could be cut but this also could be something bigger that's going on and it's just being blamed on this derailment. Here's the headline here. Massive Verizon outage in Ravalli County due to train derailment, All right? And this is on the other side of the state as well of Montana on the Western side of Montana. They're even having outages over there and they're blaming it on this derailment. So something's going on and we had a very similar situation in alaska all right we had satellite or they're having satellite internet come in to fill in the voids for alaska because they had a major fiber optic underwater cable be cut and they were saying it was from a ice block right very suspicious very strange alaska's right up there right near russia and we've seen situations like this before underwater cables being cut in the past six months all over the world the shetland islands going to the uk to the northern islands up there they had a major cut all right we saw a cut outside of france we saw cuts outside of taiwan connecting them to china all right we're seeing all these cuts going on and they're saying it's going to take six to eight weeks to get services back online in alaska and they're trying to get satellite internet running there right now all right so this could happen anywhere anytime we don't know how long these people in montana are going to be without verizon phone service now verizon is one of the major phone providers out here in the west and some places it's the only major phone service provider that you can even get out west is verizon so this is going to affect a lot of people just this outage alone not to mention the toxic sulfuric acid that dumped into the yellowstone river and the yellowstone river flows into the missouri river which flows into the mississippi river and i'll put up a little graph here so you can see the biggest beef producing states are all along these rivers here all right so the main water source for the biggest beef producing states in the country are all along this all along this river system and it has been poisoned all right with sulfuric acid which the cows cannot drink it will kill the cows and is dangerous and they are telling people to not drink the water all right montana is number seven for beef we have North Dakota, number 10, South Dakota, number five, Nebraska, number four, Kansas, number six, Missouri, number three, right? Arkansas, number 11. All of these major beef states are being hit. Their main water supply is being poisoned right now, right? And a lot of systems operate and a lot of farmers out here, ranchers, they operate off 
ditch systems. And a lot of times these ditches are tributaries or off, offshoots of these main rivers, all right? And that's where they get their water supply. That's where they get their water allotment for the year is from these main rivers. And they have a ditch system that brings the water to their property and their main water source could now be poisoned. And this could be affecting millions of cattle right now. And we are already in this mega drought that is causing corn yields and wheat yields and soybean yields to be at all time lows from this mega drought that's happening in this exact region, all right? Right there in the middle of the country is where this drought is getting hit hardest. Kansas, Nebraska, Missouri, uh, the Dakotas, all these states are the ones that need water the most. And now one of their main water sources that they depend on from the mountains and from flowing from these rivers is no longer accessible to them. So we could see big pain from this. We could see cattle farmers and ranchers have to call their beef early, all right, and get way lower yields and have losses on their ranch or on their farm, all right? We could see this spreading and we're already seeing this spread due to the drought having the lowest yields in decades and decades, all right? So start getting stocked up now, start growing your own food now, start getting water tanks now, because even just a eight gallon water tank, all right? They sell these little eight gallon ones at Walmart, okay? Even just these little blue ones, they sell, they sell them almost anywhere, but they're ones that you can carry around and you can stack them up. Just having one of those just ready to go, just waiting, that could save your life. It could save your life one day because you could use that to cook. You could drink that, you could boil it, make noodles, make rice. A lot of people don't think about it. You have all the stored food, you have all the stored rice, all these uh, whatever the survival food this three-year survival kits and like totes or whatever whatever you bought all right it takes water it all takes a ton of water to make this food right it takes a ton and this is just another hit on our water supply we saw this in east palestine ohio one of the major bread baskets of the united states their water supply got hit earlier this year in february so this is spreading. I was saying we're, I'm worried we're gonna see a major derailment out west. I was saying this a few months ago and I was worried they're gonna hit the Colorado River. I was very worried the Colorado River is going to get hit because that supplies water for over 40 million people going out west the other way, all right? So this, the Yellowstone River goes east, runs into the Missouri River, and then goes down into the Mississippi. So this goes east, but the Colorado River goes west and just affects another 40 million people. So I was worried a river out here was going to get hit, and now we are seeing a major derailment with sulfuric acid essentially being dumped into this, into the Yellowstone River, beautiful river, beautiful area, and it is being contaminated. I saw this video by Off Grid with Doug and Stacy, our incredible channel. If you've never seen them, go check them out. They've taught me a lot of off-grid and homestead knowledge throughout the years but they made a video recently and they were talking about how low their neighbor's pond was and they are in missouri they're in one of these main states that are being affected right now missouri river goes right through it runs into the mississippi river they're one of these main states being hit right now and they were already saying that the water supply is already low they're saying their neighbor's pond is extremely low right now when it should be at its highest point. And they're also saying that the hay yields are down. There's a lot less hay because there's a lot less rain in this region and it's making hay prices go up. And if hay prices go up, beef prices go up. More scarcity, more cost, all right? So all these things are related. We could see these $50 stakes coming back, all right? And we've kind of gotten used to the inflation and it's slowed down. It's like, oh, it's only it's only two or three percent now. It's only two or three percent on top of what it's already been. It never went down. Okay, it never went down. So that's cumulative. Over the past few years, it just keeps going up two, three percent, seven percent, ten percent, twelve percent, whatever we have these spikes. 
compared to a few years ago, everything is doubled or tripled in price. So it's just, it's all an illusion. It's all just cooking the books and cooking numbers here. And we could see these $50 stakes come back, right? There's still, there's still 25, $30 stakes here where I am. And I still see 40, 45 uh, pushing it some places, but we could see this spike this summer if this situation doesn't get under control and mixed with the drought as well, having decreased hay yields, having less water, less corn as well. This corn drought, corn is a massive feed for animals. And that's where a lot of the, the chickens, the pigs, the cows, they're all fed from corn. And having scarcity of that, increased prices of that is going to increase food prices as well. So start growing your own food, start getting something. I really want to get some meat chicken soon, right? Just like chickens that you can raise 45, 60 days, and then you harvest them. I really want to get some meat chickens out here because I don't want to have stuff that I can't take care of yet, right? I'm working with limited resources, so I'm trying to be very careful of what I'm getting. There's all these things I wanna do. I wanna get a cow, I wanna get goats, I wanna get all this stuff, but I'm trying to work with limited resources and meat chickens feels like a resource that I could definitely work with with small amounts of water and I could harvest them in a relatively quick time period if I need to get rid of them for whatever reason, if resources are low, all right? So just start growing some kind of food all right, we're, we're trying to expand this garden. I'll show you guys the garden in a couple of videos. I've been working on expanding it, trying to get a water tank out there, trying to get some row crops, some corn, some beans, all that stuff. And I'm trying to get a tank out there exclusively for the garden that I can just have filled up and I can water all the plants with and eventually get a timer on with like a drip irrigation system. I'm looking into that as well. All right, so all these things are in the works. Just start doing something, start growing something, start getting your hands dirty, get some kind of animal, get chickens. All right, chickens are just the go-to if you're not sure what to get. Just get two chickens. I had two chickens for years just to start with because I didn't really want to deal with animals. I was focused on farmer's markets and growing vegetables and food for farmer's markets, all right? So get chickens if that's what you want to do. If you don't want to have a big obligation, uh, to home setting or animal husbandry, all right? It's a whole different ball game to have cow, a cow versus a couple chickens, all right? It's a lot less responsibility and they are a lot easier to manage. And they lay a ton of eggs. This is the time to have them, all right? So make sure you guys are getting stocked up, get tons of water bottles, get water filtration, look into water tanks, water storage. They have little tiny water tanks, eight gallon water tanks that I used for my RV, like to just keep for portable storage boondocking or whatever. They have that all the way to 200 gallon water tanks like I have in the back of my truck to 2000 gallon tanks, storage tanks that you can just keep on your property and have for your family or for livestock or emergency situations. It's like having a generator. You have a generator, well, you should have water tanks and water storage as well for your home because that's critical it's critical right you can't survive without water and you can't cook all the survival food without water as well maybe you have canned food but that's only going to last so long and canned food is heavy and takes up a lot more space than dry weight food so please hit it up for me down there for me guys because it helps to get this video out and people need to know People need to know to not drink this water. They need to have informed consent that their rivers, their waterways are being poisoned. And even top officials are warning in the area, do not drink this water. It's contaminated. And even don't drink your tap water because a lot of these water sources come from the river directly, all right? And they're saying that they shut down their water filtration systems right now and plants and are just letting this contaminated water just flow all the way down the water system. They're not gonna try to filter it. They're just letting it flow, all right? Just letting it go. They're just shutting it down and letting it pass on to the next one, all right? So we need to be getting prepared. 
you need to have water bottles you need to have water filtrations get get a water tank storage system for your home all right they have like 2000 gallon tank systems that you could just have sitting there ready to go ready for storage ready for animals ready for your family in an emergency they have 2000s the 200 to two gallon tanks all right i have a 200 one that goes in the back of my truck that i fill up for our rv and that's just about right for the weight limits and everything of my truck so that's about the max you can do with just a truck is around 200 gallons depends how big your truck is but if you can have a 2000 gallon tank massive tank sitting there for your family you can make that last a very long time in an emergency so please hit it up for me to get this video out to more people all right people need to know over 50 million people their drinking water is being affected right now 12 different states their agriculture is being affected the cattle ranchers are being affected everyone's being affected and they're trying to sweep this under the rug and act like it's not a big deal so thank you guys so much for watching please keep yourself keep your family keep everyone close to you aware and prepared of what's going on and i hope you guys have big blessings for your family and i hope you have a big old blessed day